I know, I know you're not around here somewhere. On your, your feet, feet, back, back to work already, yeah? yeah?
And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world, cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I need to tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will.
told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. Twenty-two. The three times you left off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. <sighs> Ignore me, hmm? I'll take that to mean I've touched the nerve. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean... And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I roused you from your mud cave slumber? Actually, it is probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Stop plowing your head, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmoss. We've got it on the Imperial Authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as hell. Hold, oh, oh. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief! What a cheek! Hold on, man. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a cell sword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You really need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Oh, my God. 
We must strike to perform to the best of our ability. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes.
We cannot allow ourselves to perish. A prey must spare no mercy for you. Is it over here? So, so off we go. go. But, but uh, if, if I may, 
Perhaps it's not. not. This, this sounds more like hush money, money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I just as soon send you on your way, but I feel I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softie. Well, what do you think? Garrett Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. but I can see where this is headed. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my baby, but that would be utterly hammy. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? I told you how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man can pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last stating you did it. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you were joining us at Gathering Monk. Perhaps someone unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us, but... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. say when we're up against a squadron of knights. No, I suppose not. Apologies again for driving you into this mess. Yes, that's quite enough, chat. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who wrote you to be coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind! You know you've got a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs of the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you think of them? doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's going to be easy to work with. It seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me. Every chance he gets, he'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. <laughs> of course, you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you better pick up the pace before you mess these people any further. Prologue. Three Houses. 
Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each as a student at Garrick Mock's Officers Academy and the leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Garrick Mock. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Sinners. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. 